am not legally allowed to answer this, this question. I'm a bun now. Hopefully for as long as I play this damn game. Uh, three months ago, sheesh, it's, it's already been three months, huh? I made a theme for my Warrior of Light, and in that same video, I said that I will make a theme for your Warriors of Light. Follow me on Twitter, by the way. And for the sake of this video, I will not show the full songs here. Instead, you can go down in the comments below to check the unlisted videos showcasing the songs made in full. With that out of the way, let's begin. The stories nowadays usually starts with a single tweet, followed by a nice wave of anxiety creeping at your side, only for it to subside when you see that tweet getting some interaction. And with it, three victims were born, and the time for creation was among them. Starting things off with Venon Reviews. Check him out on Twitch, he's a cute boy. He summarizes his character as a devoted Viera learning healing and discovering the secrets of time magic. In combat, he's very analytical and logical when looking at his opponents. In history, of his character has had somewhat of a troubled past that led him out of the woods and into Charlie. So with that out of the way, we have a lot of themes to cover. Firstly, magic. Can be any magic, but since it's healing, we're going to be focusing on a more serene aspect, and we can play around with the sounds because of the aspect of time. Secondly, origin. Since he's a Viera, and Vieras are from southern Othard, and Othard holds Doma, we can add slight bits of Asian thematics, in this case, probably percussives. Next, Charlian. For some reason, to me, Charlian feels like the ancient Greece that won the Battle of Corinth, and that is all the interesting points we have. Beats per minute will be 126, sticking to D major because it is my favorite. Have a strong 4 key chord progression on high notes for violin, and a 2 key chord progression on lower notes for cello. Duplicate it to 3 different sounds having 1 in the center, 2 on left and right sides to make it feel like it's bigger and more surrounding. Next up, drums. Or percussives. It sounds pretty fucking eastern. Let's get into the lead of the song. Since this is a Viera, we want to make it sound more woodlandish, so we incorporate flutes and woodwinds. To make it more outlandish, we can add chants. And for the aspect of time, add a more robotic sounding instrument. Funny. This instrument is called Back to the Future, huh? And the last piece was Greek. Charlian. Yep, yes. I used the lyre, an ancient Greek instrument that really just fills the gap needed, supported with a simple trumpet lead, and that's the song. And for the idea of time, what I did was I take the sound, freeze it, turn it into an audio track, reversed it, placed it in the way that makes it sound like... On to the next one. Next up, Milion. I hope I said that right. This is the picture that we're working with. And with this in mind, allow me to share with you how I approach this all. In the world of League of Legends, yes, I, I know, it's it's kind of cringe. To the north lies the Freljord, a cold, barren location that has something called true ice. True ice can be manipulated to be weapons. Only catch is that said weapons can only be wielded by Iceborn. A single touch of true ice can kill someone. Even the Iceborns themselves feel excruciating pain when wielding. Okay, that's my cosplay for Necro. Looking at this image, I can only imagine one thing. Fireborn. Being in a cold land, I can imagine a flame that can never be extinguished, and only Fireborns can wield this fire. And that's all I have to work for. Since our theme is fire and snow, we have to take it into account the disparity between chaos and order, and that is the thematic of this song. Beats per minute is 96. First off, shout out to this guy for the drums, what very the epic. Do? Same chord idea as the last one, only this time they're both cellos and not really on different octaves, adding a double bass that adds a sound of control and out of control feel with an echo. Have brass that make it sound more empowering. To further increase said chaos, we'll add bells, and then add our lead to make everything sound just that more empowering. And that's all. Really? It takes more time making than explaining, in all honesty. And because of my crippling anxiety, I didn't record the entirety of these projects, because I feel like I fucking suck. Next. Last but not least is Riley. Check her out on Twitch too, because cat girls. Hello. This was a bit of a difficult one to figure out, which was honestly nice. Having a simple picture of a cat girl is something that doesn't really scream out. I have a theme. So what did we have to work with? This. Just this. You see that? That little scar on her nose? That is my basis. Are you fucking kidding? So with that, I thought of an idea. I thought something around the thematic of a person with a dark past but overshadows it with a clearer mind. Beats per minute is 130. Many thanks to these two for the percussives used in this song. Firstly, small clicks supported by a chord. Add a harp and brass to create the small feelings of distress. 
viola lead for drama. Add a second one on a higher octave to create some space. Strong drums created by this guy and a chant that we used in the previous project. Have a solo viola to carry the rest of the song. And that's it. Yep. This took me a grand total of five hours. Fuck me. Huge thank you to Venon, Million, and Riley for participating in this video. It would not have been possible without you guys. Don't forget to check out the full songs listed in the comments down below. I hope you enjoy listening to them as much as I enjoyed making them. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this in the future, then let me know down below. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, or night, wherever you are from. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.